Anyway, it seems to finally be the next morning. Or another morning, I guess, as the case may be. How many days has this cutscene been going on? Like, game time, I'm wondering. So, we started with fighting the ghost of Lisa. No, I lost track. Well, it's been a really, um, interesting last couple of days. Oh, well, there, <laughs> there we go. Unless that's counting whenever we first arrived. It's been a really uh, interesting last couple of days during our visit to this wondrous village. Lyle, we won't soon be forgetting you or any of the other people of Kalinka. So, we should be getting back on the road. As it is, we may not reach the Elven City until tomorrow morning. Marie shakes Lyle's hand. You, Sarah, and the Holy Priestesses are... Hmm... How should I say this? You all are quite a remarkable family of people. You definitely cannot find humans who are anything like yourselves back in the world we came from. An aged man with a magical power to cure any known disease, a woman who is said to be the human representation of Serena herself and has enlisted her hundreds of students and disciples from around the world, and lastly, a girl in silver ribbons who can slay evil with her bare hands. Yes, I would have to agree with you, Rate. You three make up one heck of a family. I am honored to be complimented so forthrightly, but it is really only Emily and my daughter whom are the remarkable ones. I am only the man that I am because of women such as they. Blush, I don't know exactly what I should think about being praised as a slayer of evil, Lord Uri and Master Lin, yet your words seem to be well-meaning enough. I am grateful. We promised the old man back in Iski that we would be back as soon as we could to take Sam over to his sister in Meadows, so we should be off now. Thanks for all of the hospitality you've shown to us while we were here, Lyle, Sarah, and especially for making it so that I wouldn't have to go through the rest of my life trying to resist the in instinct to fly. That would be kind of an awkward instinct considering, you know, chickens can't fly. Oh, they can try all they want, but they're not really getting very far. I almost forgot about that, by the way, the fact that he was turned into a chicken. Ah, <sighs> good times, good times. Yes, Sarah and I must not keep you all any longer with our idle chatter. Come, daughter, let us say goodbyes, or say our goodbyes to our friends now. Yes, father. Lynn, Uri, and Harrison, take care. Watch out for Lady Machiru and the others. Our four goddesses need you just as much as you need them, you know. And please give my regards to Master Panaka and his two grandchildren. We will. And you don't even need to ask uh, this of us. We'll make certain that Sam and his sister are safely reunited. Sarah, I, I must tell you that... Of all the friends I have made since being in Elvinia, it is you who I will miss most of all. But I can promise you that, no matter where in this creation of ours I happen to be at the moment... If you are ever in peril, then all you must do is call for me, and I just know that somehow I will be able to come and save you. I'm glad to have met you, and... I almost wish that I really did have a sister just like you back in the other world. Tiny laugh. 
Thank you, Mr. Dusk. And I must tell you that I kind of feel the same way. My, what it would have been like to have had you around all of my life before yesterday. Giggle. I, um, that was the only time I had ever been given a kiss on the forehead as a promise that someone would be pr my protector. Um, you know, from earlier. Blush. Dusk says with a shy smile. I promise you, I am not so sly that I go doing that to all Elvanian women I have befriended. Oh, I had very nearly forgotten! Dusk says puzzled. Mr. Dusk, if you would please accept this from me, as your little sister, I mean. Miss Sarah, isn't this... The armor I had worn to protect me from the demons who had been lurking around Mother's Sanctuary, yes. I do not believe I could very well wish you a safe journey without entrusting this gift to you, now could I? Oh, well that's kinda nice. There was this part of me that was tempted to unequip Sarah with her, from all of her stuff before we went into that fight, but... Uh, considering how tough that fight was, I decided to just keep it on her, so... I'm kinda glad that she's given it to us. I promise that you will not regret what you have done, for I will guard this treasure more than I will my own life. It will never be allowed to fall into evil hands. I honor you for your trust in me, Princess. Receive Dusk Third Armor, Kitty's Cape. I love the name of that armor. We have gameplay again! Yay! Okay, first things first. Dusk. You know, you seem to have some pretty good equipment, gotta say. First the wolf poncho, and now the... Kitty's cape? How does that compare to the um, other thing, by the way? Winter cape? Oh, that's weaker. Go ahead and equip this now. Anything else that we got just now? Let's take a look here. Well, we got the pendant. This is the story item that we just got. This is actually gonna be... Well, I would say it's actually gonna be really useful, but it's not. It's just a story item. It doesn't actually do anything. But story-wise, it's gonna be a useful item. And according to the guide, we're about to find out why in a moment. But first, let's go ahead and say goodbye. Or, uh, not. Look, there's a strange pink ribbon. I can only see, I can see only you. Sarah, you really are quite adorable, aren't you? Paid Nectar. This is a truly miraculous and rare healing agent that the Winters family has entrusted to you as a gift. Right, it's a gift, and I'm just totally not stealing it. I found the Holy Priestess's magic monocle. Oh, I thought the other thing was a thing. Never mind. This, this is the item that will be useful. Huh? What's this? Upon removing the monocle from where it was hidden, underneath the inside cover of Sarah's diary, a single page torn out from the bindings falls to the floor and catches your eye. It is entirely blank except for one brief entry, hastily written in pretty cursive. How odd. The only words written on the entire page are, With love, 
the fiery embrace of true solace to light the human of the impact to heaven. What smothering blanket of darkness shall I fear to cover me from the light of the dawn? That's actually a decent amount written on there. If it had been four or five words, yes, I would question it, but that's not a bad amount. Yet the date on the top line says December 18th. That is today! Or, you know, exactly one or two or three or four years ago. I mean, there's a December 18th every year. You know, it would have been really funny if today actually was December 18th. That would have been a nice coincidence. But not the case. Anything else? No? Okay, well let's check this item. The, m the monocle. Okay, so Lisa's pendant was what we used in order to change Harrison back to a human. I'm kind of surprised we still have that. The monocle, though, that will allow us to find some stuff. In fact, you might be able to see it right there. I'm surprised the game was actually allowing us to leave without it. Unless we would have been told to turn back to look for it. Goodbye, everyone! Please stay well. Please visit us again sometime. Keep calling us safe from the Dark Lord in our places, alright? Would this be one of the pieces to Serena's brooch? So, they really were literally scattered all over Elvinia when the Dark Lord had broken it. I wouldn't imagine that we would come across one of the fragments so soon, and find it just outside of Lyle and Sarah's house of all places. It is especially fortunate that Lyle was kind enough to give these magical glasses to us then. Yes. Totally good that he gave it to us. I just now realize that not only do we have the chance to remake the mother's brooch for her by finding the pieces, but we can also regain the magical power that was lost to us when it had been broken, therefore, or thereby enabling us to pass on that power to all of you, making you all that much stronger. Can that sort of thing really work? Theoretically, yes. It works in much the same way as when we are made able to teach each of you new forms of magic. Things such as the strength of your weapon skills and capacity to resist both physical and magical damage from the enemy will be improved through wielding the power sealed in each of the broken pieces. We should keep a particular eye out for them as we continue our journey and... Giggle? Before long, I'll bet that Zenobia will be wishing he had never allowed the parts of Serena's brooch to be scattered like that and left unchecked. Found an Affinity Fragment Okay, so first things first, I was just reminded... What are Harrison's spells? Black Fang, 75 damage to enemy one enemy. It's not elemental, I'm pretty sure, so that's pretty good. And Shadow Veil, guard minus 12. Yes, gonna be using that a bunch. That'll be very helpful against bosses. In fact, that's gonna be even more useful than what it was that we also have. It'll be more useful for than that. Although combined with that, that's going to be definitely useful. And Uri has the attack that bumps up one person's attack. If we were to combine all of these, oh boy, we'd be putting the heart on some bosses. Now then, as for this item we just found... It is a permanent buff to any character. That is really helpful. 
who do we want to use this on? Dust, perhaps? He's got the lowest attack. He also has this weapon that hits twice. He is the healer of the group, but for those times when he's not healing... Yeah, we'll go ahead and bump his attack. So, gotta keep an eye out for those. Actually, I really like the idea of having these little secrets to find. I mean, I enjoy the occasional collect-a-thon platformer, so this is kind of tying into my enjoyment of finding things. Actually, it's kind of like treasure hunting in a way. If I try, if I find treasure, yay, treasure! And then I get excited. So it's much the same as that. Oh, and the King Nectar is 90 HP healed for everybody. That would be a good item to be using in case of emergency. Now then, before we go ahead and leave this town, I want to see if anybody has anything new to say. I'm pretty sure they will. The Holy Priestess. Thank the light that your daughter and husband were there for you to the very end. I shudder to think what fate would have befallen you had there not been so many of your beloved still cling loyalty to you. Speaking of treasures, a miracle tonic. Or a miracle tonic? I'm just going to assume that it's pronounced miracle. It's just spelled funny. Uh, you're just a shop. Well, I suppose it wouldn't hurt to check if the shop says anything new, because you do have dialogue. Nope, you don't have anything of interest to say. Anything else? I know these barrels restock sometimes. Yep, sure, Clover. What else? How about you? What's up with you? What was that disturbance that we had all heard coming from below ground earlier? What happened to you all while you were visiting the Holy Priestess's shrine? Eh, we just fought the Holy Priestess's evil ghost. It wasn't a big deal. Nothing in those. Should I buy any items? How much money do I have first off? Eh, maybe hold off on item buying. Irish Chandler says with an admiring look on her face, So you yourselves possess extraordinary skill when it comes to magic. How else could you have been able to defeat the Holy Priestess of all people? Um, I'm really sorry for deceiving you all earlier, and we are very grateful for your helping Sarah save her for us. We all love that woman very much. Apparently, some people have heard what happened down below, but not everybody. Hick. Jessica, I am hopelessly in love with you. Maybe I'll look cool if I just stand here at the piano wearing these dark sunglasses and pretending that I know how to play. Are you still going to offer songs to play? Nope, guess not. My ears itch. That's old dialogue. Oof, little punks. Welcome, gentlemen. Would you care for a drink? Oh, forgive me. Still children. And a train is now going by. Hope y'all don't mind the train. It'll only last a few minutes. Man, you kids are really something. I heard about what went on down there in the underground sanctuary this morning. Yes, what went on down there. I'm just going to blame you being drunk. Thank you for having saved one of my masters, while at the same time protecting another. I was kind of wondering if I'd be allowed to go back down there, but guess not. Please be careful on your next journey, and come visit us again really soon whenever you're close by. Will do.
You all up here is though this old dialogue. So let's we don't need to rest at the inn, but we do need to save? You're not allowing us to save this time? Okay, well, I guess hopefully this means we're allowed to leave. <laughs>